After months and months of waiting for some kind of Mario Maker to come to the Switch, we finally got it in the form of a full-blown sequel. Unfortunately, Mario Maker 1 was really the last game the Wii U had over the Switch, and this was the final nail in the coffin. So as we say our final goodbyes to the Mario Maker machine and open our arms to the beauty of the Switch, let's find out if you should stick to the old or bring in the new. Wait guys, the Wii U has meme run, hold on. Super Mario Maker 1 wasn't a game I picked up immediately. I was certainly interested in it, so I don't know why I never got it, but it definitely would have helped to expand my Wii U library of Splatoon and Smash 4. Eventually, I did buy the game. Creating levels with the gamepad was easy, even though I was awful at it, and there were loads of awesome levels to be played. I even ended up uploading a few levels. I've got one called Gross, and I can see why I called it that. Another called Adventure is Everywhere, about branching paths, so neat idea, but it's not very good. I had one called Discovery is Key that I got so bored playing I could not finish it. But when Super Mario Maker 2 was announced, I was super ready. More creation tools, more ideas, online, just more, more, more. Pre-ordered the game, launched it day one, and a couple minutes in, I realized something. This game is gonna ruin me. Like I said already, I played Super Mario Maker 1, but I'm pretty sure Super Mario Maker 2 already has more, if not the same amount of hours as the first. I spent launch night messing around and before I knew it, it was 3am and I had just finished creating my first course, Mushrooms and Moles. Here's the ID if you want to play it. I took the concept from Adventures Everywhere and made it again with now 200% more moles. It's, uh, it's not great. Then the next day comes around after hours of playing story mode, endless mode, random courses, and spending a whole five or six hours on an Avengers themed Mario course because I am a virgin. I realized my entire day was gone. Alexander Hamilton once said time flies when you're having fun and boy was he right. By the way if you want to play the Avengers course I made here's the ID. It's all about invading Thanos' ship and getting all six infinity coins. It's called Spider Mario boards Thanos' ship. So please don't let me name things ever again. You could call this Alvin and the Chipmunks 3 chipwreck and the same point would be gotten across. As you might be able to tell, I have been adoring this game. Everything is so simple to figure out and the game is just great to look at. Mario Maker 2 features some new modes and older change up modes from the first. So now that I'm done shilling my own levels, let's talk about the real maker meat of it all. Starting with story mode, a game mode that was absent from Mario Maker 1 is now making its grand entrance. And overall, it's a very solid mode. The plot is that Undo Dog ends up erasing everybody's life's work in a matter of seconds. Now it's up to Big Red Mario to gather enough coins to pay for the rebuilding of it all. The plot itself is silly and enjoyable and clearly isn't a main selling point here, but the levels themselves are where we really see the potential of Mario Maker shine. I have not yet played a level that I disliked in the main mode. Some less enjoyable than others, yes, but most are pretty simple and easy to get through, and every now and then there are some really interesting concepts. Taking advantage of a clear condition so you can't jump at all during the level, combining items with other items to make some funky contraption, it makes playing through the all right levels feel more rewarding. I will say though, it can feel like a bit of a slog at times. There's really no punishment for dying, and like I mentioned, some of the levels are quite simple, so you might find yourself just playing to play through the story mode. Still, I'm very glad this is here and it adds a different thing to do from just user levels. And if you can't connect to the internet, you've got a Mario Deluxe worth of levels to play. Well, I mean, that's pretty close. Moving on to a section I haven't touched much is online. I was ecstatic to hear about this feature, but was super sad when I found out you wouldn't be able to play with friends. But then they said they would be adding online with friends in a later patch. So if that's not what you call a roller coaster of emotions, I don't know what is. My experiences with this so far haven't been bad, but they haven't been good either. I played a couple multiplayer co-op matches, and while it is fun to figure out puzzles or work together with other players, the entire time I'm just wishing my actual friends were playing with me. On top of that, the Wi-Fi has been very hit or miss. I've played about 6 or 7 total co-op games and half the time it's run like garbage and the other half it ran perfectly fine. I'm sure it'll work much better when I'm playing with friends and people I know aren't playing in the back alley of a Chuck E. Cheese, but we're just gonna have to wait until then. Oh, Multiplayer Versus is also here. It's alright. There isn't really a difference in the multiplayer levels, so either way you're racing to the end. Overall it's okay now, but I can't wait for the With Friends feature to be added. Endless mode is an absolute joy horror crapshoot fest. Taking the 100 Mario or 10 Mario challenge concept from the first and turning it into a mode that lasts forever is a great idea. Now that we have a full story mode to replace the ending to 100 Mario challenge, it's fun to keep going as long as you can and rack up your high score. Easy and normal start you out with 5 lives, expert with 15, and super expert with 30. Easy levels aren't anything special for obvious reasons, but normal levels are pretty fun. I've encountered some really creative levels here and most aren't very hard 
card. So if you're looking to just play mindlessly but focus every now and again, this is the one. Truth be told, I have only played one expert level, and it was not very fun, and it was very hard. I'm definitely looking to play more of it very soon, because Super Expert on the other hand is very, very hard. I've only managed to get a high score of 2 in this mode, mainly because some levels launch you in right off the bat with some immediate reaction Kaizo level jumps that even an absolute Mario Pro like me can get stumped by. Overall, I prefer this to the 100 Mario Challenge, and with the inclusion of the Boo button, you'll be seeing far less of garbage enemy spam levels. And finally, the actual Maker Mode in Mario Maker. I was skeptical on using a controller to create levels as it seemed tedious, but I was pleasantly surprised to find out that it works like a charm. Building in levels with the Wii U gamepad or in handheld mode on the Switch is still probably better if you want to be more precise and fill out areas quicker, but really there isn't enough of a problem with the controller for me to want to undock it. And the new item wheel is just awesome. I liked that everything was laid out on one big screen before, but I think I prefer this. Knowing where the enemies and the power-ups are and keeping them separated makes them all far easier to find. I do wish that there were less restrictions though. I ran into some trouble on my Thanos map trying to use more than four doors in the surface area. The levels are only so big, so if you want to be bombastic about it, you're going to have to tone it down if you're going to make a long one. Really though, what else can I say? It's a fantastic level creator and day one we already saw some insanely creative stuff out on the course world. Really excited to see what people make and what DLC they add to this. Besides all this, Many other changes including the maker customization or the ability to change your character you're playing as are really neat features that help make the game a little more personal. So put on that goo goo onesie, set yourself to toad, and get playing. Super Mario Maker 2 takes the foundation that the first laid out and expands on it in almost every way. The lack of amiibo support is certainly odd and I do miss the costumes, but there's still an entire playground of levels to play, resources to create with, and good old Mario times to be had. I recommend it for most Switch owners out there as there are plenty of game styles and creations that can cater to the way you want to play. Thank you everybody so much for watching and have an absolutely terrific day. The first level I saw is Bowser is not hard to beat, a level that truly tested my abilities as a player. Brian the creator displays an elements of wonder I've not yet seen. See, Bowser himself is a metaphor. Famous maker Yoey created Run to Kill Yoshi and I can in fact confirm that I did run and kill Yoshi. Michael does not simply create levels, he summons them from the depths of his soul and he was nice enough to wish me luck on his newest take, and yeah, alright, that's bogus. Fuck you, Brian.